I was just absolutely devastated that the, a man of that magnitude and of that genuineness uh, is, is gone. But I think the one thing I take a, a sense of, um, you know, comfort from is that his legacy is huge, um, not just in a rugby capacity, also his, his contribution towards Worcester as a city. And obviously, most importantly, due to my role with Acorns, is, you know, I heard Toby Porter, uh, lead man in Acorns, talking the other day about how Acorns wouldn't be a thing without, um, without Cecil. I've seen firsthand that when you make rugby um, everything, it can actually affect your performance. Um, some of the the best days are the days whenever you go and spend a full day down at Acorns and you come back in and, and a Thursday at Six Ways training with the boys seems slightly different because you have perspective and I think that's really important. Yeah, looking forward to it. We trained, we've just come off the pitch and we've trained really well. Um, we, looked, we looked really sharp today and the group is, um, it's full of enthusiasm and full of a lot of energy and, and we're just making sure we can harness that and put it into a, a quality performance.